launched uh, about two and a half years ago, and the app has now grown to four million users on iPhone and Android um, who use the app voraciously. Our, we have an extraordinarily high active user base. Our users have saved over 100 million coupons in that period, about two years, and uh, saved in terms of dollars, you know, well over $200 million. And our typical active user saves about 15 coupons a month and redeems three. And that, that translates, you know, since it's only retailer coupons, right? These aren't grocery manufacturer coupons. But uh, the retailer coupons, these tend to save a lot of money. So our typical active user saves about 40 bucks a month. We've, uh, we've built a, a great business for the retailers in being able to target our users. So we can actually deliver really efficiently coupons to people based on what they've engaged with historically. And so we can target people based on their location and based on their behavior, like their past couponing behaviors. Um, so like, for example, if you're an Aero Postel customer, next time you're near an Aero Postel, chances are we'll, we'll hit you up with a 20% with a off coupon. Um, likewise, if you've maybe shopped at a, one of the craft stores and you're in the crafting category, next time you go near a Joann's, we'll, we'll send you a coupon. And we found that that combination of behavior, behavioral targeting and location targeting, we can get conversion rates above 20%. So it's really, really a great experience for the consumer. You're not getting bombarded with coupons you don't care about. You're only getting the stuff you're interested in. And for the retailers, it's, it's like conversion rates they've never seen before. On average, our conversion rates are, uh, they're not quite that high. They're not always in the 20% range. But on average, across the board, it's about a 5% conversion rate and about a 50x return on ad spend that our retailers get. And, uh, and so as a result, we, we signed up a lot of retailers. We have, uh, you can see some of them on, on our wall back in back of me. Um, but we have uh, 50 retailers, including Bed Bath & Beyond, Party City, Toys R Us, Joann's, um, and Rite Aid, and many others. Um, one, of the, one of the neat parts about the way our business has evolved is that we found that the retailers not only want to use the SnipSnap app to push out coupons, but they actually use our campaign platform to push out coupons to their own websites and, and, and owned media channels. So we now have a few retailers like Toys R Us that use SnipSnap's um, platform to, to create mobile coupon content and push it out to all of their channels. And they basically use us as a, as a mobile and digital coupon agency of record. So from a, a dollars and cents standpoint, that has meant that we're generating a good amount of money now. We've been profitable since, uh, since this summer, and we're... Uh, um, you know, in the fourth quarter, we were doing 40% margins. So we're, uh, we got a great little business going here, and uh, I'm really excited to, to turn it into a really big business. We're just growing the number of users and growing the number of retailers that use our platform. So on the, on the user acquisition side, our plan is to get to 10 million users next year. Marketing apps is, is, is kind of tricky. You, you can certainly get, you know, if Apple features you, you can get a, a good chunk of users just for free. <laughs> um, but, but for most apps, eventually you get to a point where you need to start doing paid marketing. And we found that the best, most effective way to do paid marketing is app install ads. Uh, these are ads that you can purchase on uh, Facebook or Twitter. And you can purchase them really, really efficiently if you use your own user data to, to inform the targeting. So we, we, we basically take um, information about our SnipSnap users, the best, most valuable users of our app, and we're able to target people that look like that on Facebook and Twitter uh, and other, you know, other, other paid ad channels. Um, and so we've been able to get our user acquisition costs down really low. It's about a 30 cent cost per install for SnipSnap, which uh, is a number we're proud of. And, um, and that's a really efficient way to, to scale our user base.